Look at these beautiful flowers. Oof. We got us some lilies in our yard. Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today we are headed to church and I figured what better way to start a Bible study session with me than the morning of going to church. So let's uh, roll that intro. Dive right into our Bibles. Here we go. You guys know the deal. Time to break into the Word of God with our Bible. And this Bible, you guys can get the same exact Bible in the description below. Follow that link to our Amazon. Uh, it's our Amazon affiliate link. We may earn commission on it. I, I, I really, I don't know. We might. There's some things we do, some things we don't. But I thought, what better way for you guys to join us in this Bible study than to have the same exact Bible as we have. So, here we go. Today we're going to read the birth of Isaac, Genesis 21. Well, let's get into the Word. Alright, so I'm going to read chapter 21. I'm going to sit down right here, let you guys get a good view of the garage there and the birds and hear them chirping as well. So here we go, Genesis 21, the birth of of Isaac the Lord visited Sarah and he said and the Lord did to Sarah as he promised had promised and Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age at the time of which God had spoken to him Abraham called the name of his son who was born to him whom Sarah bore him Isaac and Abraham circumcised his son Isaac when he was eight days old and God commanded him Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born to him and Sarah said God has made laughter laughter for me everyone who hears will laugh over me and she said who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse children yet I have bore him born him a son in his old age God protects Hagar from Ishmael and the kid the child and the child grew and was weaned and Abraham made a great feast on the day that Isaac was weaned but Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Egyptian whom she had borne to Abraham laughing. So she said to Abraham, Cast out this slave woman with her son, for the son of this slave woman shall not be here herein when herein with my son Isaac. And the thing was very displeasing to Abraham on account of his son. But God said to Abraham, "Do not be displeased. Do not displeased. Be oh, <laughs> be not displeased because of the boy and because of your slave woman. Whatever Sarah says to you, do as she tells you. For through Isaac shall your offspring be named, and I will make a nation of the son of the slave woman also, because he is your offspring." So Abraham rose early in the morning and took bread and a skin of water and gave it to Hagar, putting it on her shoulder, along with the child, and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. Beersheba? When the water in the skin was gone, she put the child under one of the bushes then she went and sat on the opposite sat down opposite him a good way off the distance of a bow shot for she said let me not look on the death of my child and as she sat opposite of him she lifted up her voice and wept and God heard the voice of the boy and the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven 
and said to her, What troubles you, Hagar? Fear not, for God has heard the voice of the boy where he is. Up, lift up the boy and hold him fast with your hand, for I will make him into a great nation. Then God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. And she went and filled the skin with water and gave the boy a drink. And God was with the boy, and he grew up. He lived in the wilderness and became an expert with the bow. He lived in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother took a wife for him from the land of Egypt. A treaty with Abelet, Ab, Ab, Abimelch, Abimelch. At the time, Abimelch and Fickle, Fickle, Pickle, <laughs> Fickle. The commander of his army said to Abraham, God is with you in all that you do. Now therefore swear to me he here by God that you will not deal falsely with me or with my descendants or with my pros posterity. But as I have dealt kindly with you, so you, you will deal with me and with the land where you have sojourned. Sojourned. And Abraham said, I will swear. When Abraham reproved Abimelch about a well of water that Abimelch's servants had seized, Abimelch said, I do not know who has done this thing. You did not tell me, and I have not heard of it until today. So Abraham took sheep and oxen and gave them to Abimelch, and the two men made a covenant. Abraham sent seven ewe lambs of the flock apart, and Abimelech said to Abraham, "What is the meaning of seven ewe, ewe, ewe lambs, ewe lambs, that you have set apart?" He said, "These seven lambs you will take from my hand, that this may be a witness for me that I dug this well." Therefore, that place was called. Beersheba, because they're both, uh, because there both of them swore an oath, so they made a covenant at Beersheba. Beersheba. Then Abimel, Abimel, and Focal, the commander of his army, rose up and returned to the land of the uh, Philistines. Abraham planted a tamarisk tree in Beersheba and called there on the name of the Lord the everlasting God and Abraham sojourned many days in the land of the Philistines Philistines that brings us to chapter oh. that brings us to chapter 22 which we will read very very soon i'm i'm going to we're going to get back on track of reading a, at least one one a week i want to get back to that you guys may have noticed we have a new schedule kind of we've got monday wednesday friday uploads here on the main channel and then over on the family channel arctic vet family we do tuesday and thursday if you guys haven't gone over there please consider subscribing there as well as subscribing here because we we love you we we appreciate you and it means the world to us when you guys subscribe it it means a lot thank you so much have a blessed day keep getting in the word of god because the word of god is the truth jesus is the way the one the only he was and is and is is to come yet to come is yet to come <laughs> oh thank you jesus i love you thank you god Thank you, Holy Spirit. I hope that you all have a blessed day. God bless y'all. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. Just got to fix your view. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ.